show it and go. And not only are you supporting our state parks, but it's probably the best 140 you'll spend all year. Thank you. came down that trail right there and normally we would go around those rocks but the water's high enough so it's a little tough to navigate you see all these model or uh, remote control car enthusiasts they're out here every weekend it's kind of tough to navigate from there it's February 19th 2022 the water levels are where they're supposed to be at with that said we haven't had any rain in over 30 days we had nothing in January and that's coming off of a record December, we received a ton of rainfall and the cyclone bomb that happened in October. Well, we, we need rain. So depending on what time of year you come, and you'll see some photos here, we do come out here in the winter when the water levels are really low. If it's a nice sunny day, we'll still come out and picnic. So you can drive, like I said, down, down this way. Hopefully the water levels will be full come May to June and if that's the case this is all closed you can't drive here because if it was open there'd be no place to park on the shoreline and people would be all up parked on the road and they need emergency vehicles to get here you'll know at the gate or if you follow FolsomLake.com what the water levels are so during the summer don't expect to get to this area and drive down you're gonna have to go to other beaches to to get in the water as you see, there is a pathway there today. We probably could have gone around the rocks and where all these remote control enthusiasts are. Sometimes there's so many cars there that they just kind of block this pathway. Again, as we get later into the year, there'll be less and less of this pathway for you to be able to drive. So the next peninsula area is Dotton's Point. Now we don't recommend you could, same as Oak Point here, you could drive down there, but you really need a high clearance vehicle. You can see all those paths. They seem calm, but they're rough. So what we do, if we want to get over on that side, we will enter how you saw us and we'll drive all the way around 
and go there. But unless you have a high clearance vehicle, don't navigate from Dotton's Point. So this pathway close to the restroom, this is a safe route too. You can have a low clearance vehicle. You can go down and come back up. Our day will start, we'll go down that first path, go around, then we'll drive up from here this way. So there's another route. Now there is another path that I actually learned about today. When you get to this junction, the fork of the road, make a right. Remember, initially you made a left, but make a right on that road right there. And from above, you can see there's a bunch of cars down by the water. And we talked about at Oak Point, there's the three paths to the right, in the middle, and to the left. And remember, we take the middle path, right? And what you're gonna do, that's the fork of the road, stay to the right, you're gonna come around and you'll be right there, right next to the beach area. And you're gonna drive down right there. It's real easy, actually. And then that'll get you down to the water as well. And here are some cars that are coming down from that path. It's nice, flat, and easy. On a day like today, the end of February, you can see in the background there's a bunch of people on the shore of the lake. We don't do that because we're not getting in the water. It's clearly it's freezing still. So we like to come up around here. Sippy Cup Adventures is about not being next to screaming kids, barking dogs, and humans. Not that we have anything against kids, dogs, or humans. We just like to get away. Another thing, if you're driving if you're looking for a place to go, that lady in that Chrysler, she just parks right there and grabs her dog. You got this whole lake and she parks like right next to us. All right, so we are currently at Oak Point to my right. To my left, you can see there's some people there uh, hanging out on the beach. Uh, they probably don't realize that if they'd come over to the other side, they could drive their cars down. Otherwise, you can see it is a long walk to Granite Bay Main Beach. Summertime, when there's water, hopefully there'll be water this year. It's a great beach. There's bathrooms, there's a snack bar, general store. They rent out floaties. It's just a really nice beach. Um, good place for families to gather. The group picnic area is just over there, over there. <laughs> See where all the green is? It's a nice, nice uh, area to picnic and barbecue. Cheers. So that lady I was telling you about earlier in the video that drove right up to our campsite, she got out or got back in her car and moved and got high end on, on a rock. Did you not see the rocks there? There's all kinds of paths everywhere to go, but she chose to go there. Incredible.